Okay, so we're going to talk about fixing position with crossed bearings. Fixing position with crossed bearings. Figure out where we are without the use of maybe uh, latitude and longitude. Figuring out our latitude and longitude. All it is is a matter of picking something in the landscape around you. We'll take this spire, for example. And if we knew that that spire was 350 degrees away from where we were, we could just merely draw a line on the chart, 350 degrees, and all we know is that we are somewhere on that line. And we pick another landmark. In this case, we'll take this light up here. And if we thought that light was about 45 degrees, we would draw a line from that light to us about 45 degrees away. And we would be somewhere on that line. And where it crossed our first line of position, that's our fix. That's where we are. That's as simple as cross bearings need to be. Two lines of position. We can do them on opposite pieces of land. We have this 45 degrees off this light. We can look down here and see the steeple. The steeple bears 145 degrees, 150 degrees, whatever it is. We draw a line off that steeple. And where that line crosses is where we are. You can use two lines of position, three lines of position, but what you want to do is make this angle as close to 90 degrees as possible because a 90 degree angle is the perfect perpendicular, okay? We want to try to create a perpendicular. So if we came down here, we got a tank here, and if this tank bears, uh, I don't know, 45 degrees, and we got a light over here, uh, let's put a tank over here or a steeple, and if that one bears uh, 130, we draw that line from that 130, and where they cross is our position. That's, that's all cross bearings is. When the Coast Guard gives you co cross bearing questions, they're gonna tell you what the landmark is, they're gonna tell you the number of degrees, and all you're gonna do is draw a line from that landmark, that number of degrees, from another landmark and number of degrees, where they cross is where you are. If they give you three, if they give you a third one, sometimes we'll cross and instead of having a perfect cross, we end up with a little triangle. See that little triangle right there? If that were the case, assume that you are right in the center of that little triangle. Put your little dot in there and use that as your position. Sometimes if we do three, we want them all to be roughly 60 degrees apart. Doesn't always happen, but as close to. Another question that the Coast Guide can ask you about cross bearings is they can say to you, you have a bearing of a light of, of 300 degrees. What would be the next best line of position to use? So there's two ways to figure it out. Either add 90, and we know there's no such thing as 390, so we're gonna then subtract 360, right? Is that right? Did I do that math right? So the next best line of position would be 30 degrees. Did I do that math right? Yeah. Or we're gonna subtract 90. and 210 degrees would be. And then if the Coast Guard asks you that question, they're gonna give you a multiple choice. They're gonna give you four answers and you're gonna pick the one that comes closest to 90 degrees from that first line of position. That's crossed bearings. Easy enough? Cool.